Illinois Central, more like Identity Crisis. You know, this hybrid scheme, it, it honestly isn't that bad. I mean, stripes and uh, the white front definitely is something, I will admit. This is also a good exception. I will say that the BSF logo does kind of not look that bad on this particular unit. This though, it eh, doesn't really work on a high hood. Just why? So Canadian Pacific got a handful of XBNM GP40s and uh, the patch jobs on these are kind of weird. And when Canadian Pacific end up repainting these, it's like, <laughs> why? Ah yes, my favorite class 1 railroad. It has to be CCSX. Don't worry guys, it's nothing to panic. It's not a phase he's going through. He's just showing his inner Rodney Kolinsky. As much as people will hate this, I honestly don't have a problem with this patch job. If anything, it was painted in a rather interesting scheme before it got patched over Canadian Pacific. It's just a shame that CP slaughtered it later on. So, from what I know, this is the Southern Pacific's popsicle scheme, for what I know. It's sort of like a weird daylight freight hybrid or fuckle or whatever. And then it looked like this, and it's like... No. Okay, believe me, there are quite a few uh, BSF-9s that sort of look like this, but... Okay, why the f Anyone remember Panam Railway 7552? Take, for example, you've used Locomotive as you right now. And let's say 7552 on CSX in its early years were sort of like childhood memories. Yeah, it's best if you want to forget about those childhood memories. I will appreciate BNSF's artistic license when it comes to trying to make a weird hybrid of the H1 livery, and she's not the only other locomotive to receive that. I know uh, Dash 91063 also got this weird H1 hybrid thing, and it actually looks really nice. But this is horrendous. The mere fact that shop employees looked at this and said, Oh, this is fine. Wait, it's not like we could repaint it anyways. And then just stand on the road without any further thought. <laughs> ah, yes. Norfolk Southern Dash 9. Something that looks normal. In quotation marks. And this is another example of a uh, Dash 9 that looks relatively normal. Nothing uh, too special, except... Bro, what the hell is that font? This is probably the best example of a self-aware locomotive. It's Suffer in Pacific. Bit of backstory on this one. Uh, the Southern Pacific, as you know, was going to be like SPSF, and then a few other locomotives were repainted. This one apparently also got the uh, Kodrakom uh, repaint, but when it was repainted back into SP colors, they forgot to change out the number board, so it was kind of cursed with a uh, red number board, so... So, this one also has a bit of a fun backstory. This locomotive was involved in an accident on Norfolk Southern in 2004, and UP just sent the locomotive to NS's junior auto shops for a rebuild, but given the fact that NS locomotives look like this, this locomotive is forever stuck with a Norfolk Southern cab. And even today, it actually doesn't look that bad, despite the mere fact that it's a Norfolk Southern spec AC6000. But for real, this thing kind of does look very ugly without a logo. And I guess that's all the time we have for this video. I will be covering more units, given the fact that there's quite a lot more. And also because Railroad Picture Archives is sort of down right now. I'll find more locomotives for another video. So, with that out of the way, I will see you all in the next video. Take care, folks.